Hey guys, I have my Project Tin Pan update. I cannot wait any longer. <laughs> I have to film this video. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's just start out. I have set, I finished some things and made good progress on other things. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put my notebook so I don't forget anything. I have misplaced one thing that I cannot find anywhere. Okay, first of all... <clears throat> Something I finished is the Maybelline uh, Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. And this was in Sharp Brown. It's a click up and it won't go anymore. Um, this lasted me from December 27th until February 2nd with almost daily use. So, it's not the best value for money, but I really did like this it has a really fine point to it and i used it on my um upper lash line and lower lash line just a just a little bit and i really do like this i would repurchase it if i needed a eyeliner anytime soon but yeah i mean i like i really like this i super enjoyed it <clears throat> but it didn't last much more than a month you know what I mean? Like a month and a half. Anyway, okay. And then, let's see, okay. <laughs> my brain's not working right today, for sure. I had in my little project here, this Estee Lauder Double Wear in two in one that I had put in this little pump. And I started out down here and I used it to up here. And I have decided to not use this anymore. I have been going through my things and decluttering all this. And this I have had for too long. And my face was kind of, you know, not so gray. And I'm thinking, you know, using the old foundation might have something to do with it. So I'm kind of going to replace this and make it my goal of just using this foundation, not necessarily using it up. But this is the Lancome Tinted Oil Ultra Makeup Stick. And I just put a mark on it, you know, kind of roughly. Um, I just want to use this. I want to try to stick to one foundation. And for the most part, just use it every day. That's kind of my, my goal. And today I use a little bit of something else. So it's kind of hard, but I'm going to try to just use this for the most part every day. And I know these stick foundations don't last near as long as like a bottle of foundation would, but I really enjoy this. I really do. Okay, and then I met my goal on this Wet n Wild uh, Single Shadow in Nutty. Net, netty. My goal was to hit pan, and I did. So that is done with this project. The Maybelline uh, Color Tattoo in Black Orchid. My goal was to hit pan, and I did. But... I have been using this with a brush since I've been wearing these, you know, like fake fingernails. And using it with a brush kind of made a beautiful little circle in the middle. <laughs> but I am, I have decided I want to continue to use this. I would love to use this up this year. So I'm kind of thinking, I love this. I'm just saying, like, I love this. And I, I just can't stop using it. Even though I said I was going to move on to another one. I just can't. I just keep pulling it back out. Just no matter how hard I try, I keep pulling it back out. So I might as well just try to finish it this year. Although that's not really a goal with this project. As far as this project's concerned, I'm done with it. But as long as I continue to use it as I have been, I will continue to show it during these updates. And then I have the Smashbox Photo Filter uh, Powder. Um, and it's actually a powder foundation and I my goal was to hit pan and I have hit pan but with this too I would I want to continue to use this as long as this is a shade match for me I want to continue to use this so I will continue to show this and I have been using this every day I've worn makeup and I really like it it's a nice powder um I 100% I believe that this powder is the reason why y'all been saying that, oh, you look flawless or your makeup looks good. Well, I am not flawless, but this powder really does something with the, the filming and taking pictures and stuff. It's really nice. The Smashbox 
photo filter powder and I have mine in the shade two. Okay, and then I also have this loose powder, um, the Clay de Poe Beauty. I had like half of it left. There's a little mark. I had half of it left. I finished it off. And then I said I was going to start this YSL finishing veil. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't as much product in this one as there was in the other one. So I'm about to the bottom of this little sticker on this you know so it won't take long for me to finish this one off <clears throat> and then for blush i had these little samples and pans are the schwa that subscription service that i am subscribed to and they give you like little pans and little pods and little containers filled with stuff that um as your sample so i've been working through those this was the uh, if i can get it out the Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric Blush in 503. And I did finish this one off. And then this one was a brand new one. After I finished that one, I started this one. And I've almost finished it. It's the Chanel Powder Blush in Jersey. And this is mainly the reason why I just had to do this update. Because I'm about done with this one too. And when I do get done with that one, I am going to move on to this next one, which is a Giorgio, it's another Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric in 503. I guess I had got it twice, I don't know. But that's what the, like, full pan looks like. And then I had <clears throat> finished the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. I finished this one, and then I have moved on to the Hourglass lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light and i have hit pan on this this one is harder for me to use i think it's because i'm more fair it shows up really orange on me like orange so i only use it like underneath my blush you know i use it kind of on my cheeks lightly and then kind of put my blush over top of it top of it so this is taking a whole lot longer to get through than the other one did because the other one was the darker of the two hourglass bronzer shades, but I found that it worked better. Maybe I had a little more color to my skin, but this is so orangey that I just, I'm having a hard time with it. <clears throat> okay, what else did I have in here? Okay, I had this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Fawn. It's from her contour kit in the shade Fawn. And where that little ring is in the middle was where I was. You know that all the product was still around that and I am using this with a big fluffy brush just as a bronzer and it's going but it's slow going but I'm still pushing I'm using it every time I wear makeup so that's that'll eventually get used up okay I also had this little in my kind of everyday uh, eyeshadow palette thing I had this was a cream shade from the um, little Coastal Scents Style Eyes Duo that I got from Birchbox. And I did finish most of it and there was a little bit left on this edge and it just like crumbled off. And it's gone, so that's done. Okay, and then <clears throat> this Well People uh, Bio Brightener Stick sample that I had got from Birchbox. It's in Moonstone. I have been using this. I could be a whole lot better at using it. I'm not, and you can't really tell progress, but there is just a touch of a dip. I've been trying to use this. I think it's beautiful, but I just don't remember it. I, I really haven't been wearing highlights. Really. I mean, I just hadn't been wanting a highlight. I feel like I look glowy enough naturally or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just ain't been feeling it. Okay, and then... I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate, and I'm not going to roll it up again, but I did mark it. That was where I started, January 8th, and I've used um, down here the 7th of February. So there's the base, and there's how much product I have used. You know, from there to there, I use that much. So anyway, I'm still trucking on it, and the last two things, I promise, were the skincare items. This is the MAC Lightful C Marine Bright Cleanser. Um, I've been using this as a shave cream. I was right here whenever um, I started this project and now 
right here is where I can fold it down to. So I'm trucking her away on it. I don't like it on my face. It's really, it dries my skin out if I use it as a cleanser and it's fragrance, but it does foam up beautifully. So I like using it as a shave cream. So there we go. And then I know I'm never gonna finish this. The Russell Organics Marula Oil, not during this project, but I started up here and now I'm about right here. I did kind of peel this back to kind of measure. And I do like this. I really like Marula Oil, but um, I have one that I like better. That I've been kind of reaching for, and then I've been using a different moisturizer, so it's kind of hard to get myself to just use it. But there we go. I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh yes, the thing that I cannot find is the Clinique Black Honey little deluxe sample lippy. I can't find it anywhere, but when I do, I will show it because I'm so close to finishing it. I've got to find it because it's got to count toward my 16 lip products in 2016. Anyway, I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you real soon. Bye.